in my professional opinion, based on the interviews I've conducted just myself, I'm not even going to tell you M Nicole's a murderer because I don't believe she is. Retired FBI agents are now looking into the deaths of Nicole Olson and her two daughters. There's also new information that may show Nicole was getting ready for a new life with her girls right before their tragic deaths. Fox San Antonio's Yami Virhin has part two of tonight's investigation. Fox San Antonio has obtained this email sent to Nicole Olson the day she's believed to have died. It's from the Grand at Dominion Apartments, just six miles away from her boyfriend Charles Wheeler's home. She had toured the apartments, according to her family, on December 31st, 2018. The email in part said they were reaching out to see how her apartment search was going. It also stated, I have the three-bedroom Fredericksburg floor plan available that you love for your move-in time frame. Still some questions that need to be answered before Nicole gets called a murder. Oh, absolutely. Talita Copeland is one of several retired federal agents who started the nonprofit Project Absentees to help create a bridge between families like Olson's and law enforcement. In my 17 years experience just as, a, as an FBI agent, there are some questions that need to be answered. There's evidence that needs to be collected before Nicole is ever called a murderer. I can't tell you that passionately enough. Nicole, in my opinion, is not a murderer. And I will I'll go on record saying that. She is not a murderer. There's evidence out there that needs to be further analyzed before this case is closed. If this nonprofit feels something can be gained uh, from them looking over the evidence, absolutely. I'd love to hand it to them and, and see if there's something new that they can shine on it. Project of Sentis has recommended the use of technology called geofencing. We're not talking about the pings on a cell phone. What we're talking about is perhaps who was using a certain app at that time within that location at a certain time. Uh, for example, who was using uh, any Google app? Uh, it could have been Google Maps. It could have been any a number of Google apps at that time. Uh, it could have been uh, who was using a Facebook app any of the number of different Facebook apps that are out there at a certain time within that box that we've created, that's called the geofence. In this case, it could show if there were other persons of interest in the far north Bear County home whom authorities did not know about at the time of the crime. You're not going to receive a hundred different cell phones in this particular warrant. You're going to receive Nicole's, the two children, and somebody else and possibly another person. And that somebody else and that other person is who we want to talk to. The signing of a search warrant falls on the district attorney, Joe Gonzalez. We'd have to go to the DA's office and show them that, that probable cause exists. If we can just get our hands on this piece of evidence, we hope to gain this from it. We reached out to the DA and they said they could not comment on the case. However, they did tell us they were waiting for the completed file from the Bear County Sheriff's Office. If you want to see previous stories on this case, you can go to our YouTube channel. Jamie Virgen, Fox News at 9.